Johnny Hodges was an American jazz saxophonist whose influence has reached and trickled into the playing styles of many jazz legends and has even uh, shaped the way how many interpret uh, music today. Um, in fact, back then he was known um, by a few different nicknames such as Jeep and um, Rabbit. Um, in fact, uh, Duke Ellington wrote a number of tunes based on these names. Johnny Hodges uh, was born in 1907 in Cambridge, Mass. Uh, growing up as a kid, he was mostly self-taught, um, starting off with like, the drums and the piano. Um, he never really liked the piano too uh, much. Uh, there's an interview in which he speaks about how he played the piano simply because his mother uh, taught him how to play the piano. However, later on in his life, he would uh, acquire the uh, saxophone. As soon as he was able to get the saxophone, um, his friends taught him a few notes on it and he just took off uh, from there. In the same interview, uh, he speaks about how um, he had the opportunity to meet uh, Sidney Bechet, the legendary Sidney Bechet. And the way he met him was through his sister. So his sister had known him. And after one of his performances in Boston, uh, he got the opportunity to meet him. And tucked under his arm was a soprano he had just recently got. He played one tune for Sydney, and Sydney gave him a few pointers um, from there. After a few prompting, uh, Johnny Hodges joined Duke Ellington's orchestra. And when he did, um, his sound, his style, uh, the way how he moved from note to note, it all melded well with the orchestra sound, um, just adding that rich color to it. And it became so, I guess, it melded so well together that when you thought of, uh, or when you heard of Duke Ellington's orchestra, you immediately thought of Johnny Hodges' uh, playing style associated with it. Um, so he played there for a number of, of years. In fact, he was, I would say, like the main soloist um, in that orchestra. So he played on songs such as uh, Sunny Side of the Street, um, Jeep's Blues, one written for his nickname, and um, what's the other one called? Warm Warm Valley. Um, those are all incredible tunes. Um, however, uh, during I think maybe like a five-year period, he left the orchestra in s just to start his own uh, group. Uh, he played with people such as John Coltrane, Charlie Parker. Um, however, that didn't last long and he moved back to play with uh, Duke Ellington's orchestra. Um, but during this time though, after he moved back, he still played a lot of small sessions. Uh, many of them could be heard on Spotify or YouTube. There's this album called Duke Ellington and Johnny Hodges Plays the Blues Back to Back. I think that's what it's called. And there are a couple of songs on that, that album in which when Johnny Hodges started, you immediately knew. He immediately kind of brought you in, honed you in. And just that sound alone, that plain style, like I said, um, it pulls you in. It draws you in. And I think that's what I kind of want for my playing style also. And I think that's what a lot of musicians want for their, their playing to be like. Just to have the ability to draw in the audience and to keep the audience's attention um, just by even playing the melody. So, Johnny Hodges, one of, definitely one of the greats.